Hello everyone, my name is Jane Amuta, I'm the CEO of Fit Gym Salons and Spa. I'll be coaching the ladies on their road to SI10. And for that to happen, you have to stay focused and no pain, no gain. Be determined, be consistent, and remember that it's about fun. So have fun. Come on, ladies, are you ready? Yay! Yes, so welcome back. We are still on our road to size 10. And today we got our trainer to come on the set to tell us our progress so far and also to weigh us because we promised that every two weeks, right? Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be weighing ourselves just to see our progress. Although I feel very depressed because I don't <laughs> think I have lost any weight. It has been a very expensive venture, but let us hear, uh, speak to our trainer first. <laughs> Hi, Jane. Hello. Good <laughs> to have you. Have you seen that promo for the first time? You're seeing that promo for the first time? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> so how have we been faring? Um, but first of all, I have to tell you that it's, you have to take it easy because it's so frustrating. You do all the right things, you eat well, you exercise, but give yourself time because this is just two weeks. So mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter what the scale says because there are so many things that you have gained, your mm -hmm. energy boost, mm -hmm. your, you know, your resistance to some to disease and your, you sleep better, yeah, right? Certainly. There are so many things. So don't it doesn't matter what the scale says okay but i will explain it to you because you know you've been doing a lot of strength training so you build yeah. muscle muscles with more than fat mm -hmm. but it, it it takes less space so you see your clothes fit better okay. but forget about the scale we will weigh you but okay. whatever that gives us that doesn't mean that okay. you're not making honestly, i'm not gonna lie to you because my husband was even saying that because initially he was actually encouraging me like Mariah, you're losing weight but the reason he now said that's your gym. Are you sure you're not going to eat burgers and pizza? <laughs> yes. Because I, mean, I don't see anything I'm losing again. No. So that really depressed me. But you know, mm. I was like, let's just wait till Tuesday and let us come and see. Yeah. So who's but, going but I wanted to ask um ask a question because now I notice that I'm actually lighter. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can do a lot of things that I wasn't doing before and I'm not exhausted like before. I noticed that okay, I'm feeling, you know, very, very light. But the 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 weight reduction that I'm expecting, As I'm not. Happened. Yeah, I, I'm not yeah, seeing it. Have you been checking your weight? No, I've we not asked checked. you not. Uh, yeah, so I'm saying you? like, like for oh, instance, you right? want to visibly see. Yes. Yes. Let me see myself in the mirror. Because I'm two I'm, weeks. I'm, weeks. In two oh, Listen, I, listen, Jane, we it has not been easy. <laughs> Let me tell you what I've done. Mm -hmm. I, I eat salad almost every day. I buy salad. I buy apples every day. I'm always because I'm drinking watermelon. I'm drinking so much water. Nothing. I've not lost anything tangible. It's honestly. a lifestyle. It's, it's not a easy. lifestyle. And that takes time. We are not on a you. fat diet. Mm -hmm. We are not on... It's not about... It's not how, a quick fix. Yeah. Just take it slow. And it's not about losing the weight. You want to still keep it off. True. Yeah. So take it easy. Yeah. Don't beat yourself okay. up. You see other benefits. Oh, but yeah. don't worry. Let's, let's go, go and let's see what the skill says. <laughs> Why do you want to go first? Eh? Why are you Why scared? Why are you so <laughs> afraid? <laughs> Even if I have gained weight, I'm not afraid. Okay, please be quiet. Just be quiet. Not this, you know, anyway. Your own road to size 10. There's nothing there. The only size is just to size zero. Ah, yeah, yeah. Just hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Step up. Don't come and verify. What's... Okay. It's not, it's not. Careful, it's not. Oh, she has put on weight. No, come and check it. Come and ah, check it. I should check it. You were 86 before? Yeah, it's still 86. Yeah, it's still 86. Like I will explain why. Okay. Yeah. okay let me it's just two weeks. So I go 97. Ninety-five point five. Yay! What are they half kg? Are you for real? What are they half kg? Two weeks. No, I will explain why. Right. My jacket, right. just in case. The jacket. <laughs> it's still seventy-five. It's still seventy-five. Of course. Yeah, but you are yeah, like ten, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mike, are you joining us for this one? <laughs> <laughs> she was so stressed on 69. Why can't you have me those tweets? Ah, I just tweet on Sunday. Okay. 
69 or 68? 69. 69. Why can't come and sit down? No, ask her now. We're asking her. 69. 69. Mm. Okay. So, just one and a half kg. Can, so. can I say something Please. about the, the weight? You know, your weight fluctuates. So, the timing is very important. So, you might be actually 67, 68, 69. So, the timing. So, I would rather you weigh yourself in the morning when you just, you know, when you get off the bed go pee weigh yourself yeah. that's why i always tell people leave the scale alone do what you're supposed to do because if you follow the scale you get frustrated mm. because there are a lot of women that are following us on this journey and it's important that we understand um every state <coughs> every milestone we get to so as an as a professional in this area you say that we shouldn't be we, we weighing ourselves too much that we shouldn't worry about it but why is it that we're not seeing that because we have actually had a lot of changes someone like me i've not had rice in two weeks I've not had bread. Mm -hmm. I've not eaten yam. I've tried to just stay protein and everything. And it's just one and a half kg. Two whole weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so I need some answers. And do people lose weight differently. Yeah. It's also different. Like, you know, your metabolism and everything. But also, you know, we, we are very careful about the food. It's not really about I eat salad, I eat all the healthy stuff. That's why I say even with the healthy stuff, be very careful. Mm. Be careful with the portion, yes. especially Calories. yeah, in between meals. That's mm. why I say snack because you're eating this. You're always hungry. See hunger as a, see food as a fuel. Like it, it's not a hobby. A lot of people just keep eating. True. So try as much as possible. It's not a, because you're eating salad. And nobody says mm. you should eat only salad mm. because the body needs some of the vital nutrients um, to so even function. People make, it, make mistakes and then they leave the carbohydrates out. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates too are very important, very important. to so our well-being. Yeah. yeah, now let us go into a bit of uh, issues. Because I said there are lots of women following us. Yeah. And there are women that want to lose weight because of different reasons. Mm -hmm. um, Self-esteem issues. Mm -hmm. Some women have gotten really, really big. Mm -hmm. After, after after having kids, Birth. four kids, yeah. and they're having self-esteem issues with husbands. Let me tell husbands. you a story about a lady who was a size 18. She was a slim lady when she married, okay. and then she got married and had two children and became big. She went to a size 18, and her husband just used to attack her. I don't do fat women. He stopped sleeping with her. He never encouraged her. He just spoke down at her. And then one day she picked up her depressed self, went to the gym, started exercising, and she lost a lot of weight and came down to a size 12. All of a sudden, her husband was flaunting her everywhere. He was proud of her. He was going out with her. And she thought to herself, you know what? This guy doesn't deserve me. When I needed him the most, he wasn't there for me. Now, I hope that Mariah is not going to get to the stage where she thinks that, you know what? What's the I've lost <laughs> <laughs> what does that have, have to do with Mariah right now? <laughs> if, if he hadn't done that, yes. she would continue to gain weight. She would not, if he had encouraged her and said, ah, uh, please lose weight, but you are my, still my darling, she will continue to eat. Mariah's husband has been nagging her. Yes. That's Madam, but I don't understand weight. this one. Yes. Go and lose weight. So that is why Mariah is not taking... That is not true. Did he tell you that? Don't say that. Don't say that. Mariah, you want to start lying now. Something. No, 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 no. Let, let's don't miss In September, <laughs> you want to lie. To very close to December. I noticed, <laughs> Abeg, we're solving a real issue here. I noticed that I, I honestly, what you said about cravings, you know, recently I've been, I mean, craving a lot. So when I'm hungry, instead of eating food or whatever, I just snack on a lot of, um, lots fruits. of fruits and all that. But the way you're saying it now, it's like maybe that one is still that's why i always say don't skip a meal okay you know you think you gain a lot of uh, you you get like you get deficit mm. in ca your calorie allowance by skipping meals but the body has a way of making you pay for it mm. if you skip breakfast then you by the n next meal you're already famished mm. and then you attack the food mm. but that's why i say eat your regular eat three times mm eat your meal your breakfast your lunch and snack in between by snacking i mean healthy snacking fruits? yeah fruits you can take a natural carrots. yogurt mm. yes you can take a lot of vegetables you can cut your carrots your baby carrots put them you can snack on cucumber 
you can snack on so many things. Question. Like Excuse snack. me. Question. Don't sound like snack um, at all. My honey is punishment. I know what snack is. I know what snack is. I must tell you the truth. That, that, cucumber is punishment. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Cucumber. I know. <laughs> but, but when you are trying to lose weight, you just have to make some sacrifices. Yeah. That's why I said you eat proper meals mm. during your breakfast. Eat healthy breakfast. Your, your whole week. That's why I said you, you mentioned that carb is very important. Yeah. Eat healthy carb. Mm. Because you eat processed carb, it, yeah. it increases the craving and messes up your metabolism. That's why I say eat whole grain. And uh, but let me take Reverend Dominic's call. <laughs> Rev, good morning, sir. Good morning, ladies. How good are morning. you? How are you too? Very well, sir. I want to ask a question. Is YK doing the exercise too? No. no. She just oh, ah, she yes, I do. Oh. <laughs> I do my own. Don't mind them. Oh, and they know. <laughs> what, ah, what do my. Eh? You are, you are, you are, you are okay. I've seen you. You are a big woman. Thank you. Don't bother yourself, Thank you. Yes, go ahead. He's still here. Can okay. I ask a question? Yeah, oh, you have a question. Go ahead. Ask my, what would I do for my son? My son is big. My wife is laughing at me here. <laughs> <laughs> my thumb is big. I don't know how to deliver, but put my thumb in. Okay. <laughs> All right, Rev. <laughs> Last tummy. Okay. Hello. All right, thank you. We got that rev. Right. She's going to respond now. Okay, I'll start with the size. You know, a lot of people tell themselves, because I'm very skinny, I don't have to work out, I don't have to eat healthy. It's not about the dress size, I tell you. So at any point, you need to keep fit. You don't want to be that size zero who can't climb a staircase. True. Mm. You don't want to be unhealthy. It's about being fit and healthy. Mm -hmm. So that's it's very yeah. important whether you're big or small anyhow you need to exercise and eat healthy i wanted to talk about eating healthy for instance um bananas are healthy apples are healthy but each of those fruits have calories, calories. so if you say you're eating healthy and you sit in front of a whole bunch of bananas you are eating your whole two thousand calories, calories at one sitting let me take joel's call good morning joel are you there yeah i'm there Let's go i'm ahead. first time caller Yay. <laughs> Please, I want to ask the lady, what, what I mean about the, what of the, I mean, how, how do you measure your BMI, your body mass index? Mm. Is height overweight? It's, you know, like, when you say you measure your BMI, mm. it's like, it's a lot of calculations that, because, you know, sometimes you don't let want people to get confused, mm. because you have to get your height, mm. And then and you get your, your weight. It's then it's height over weight times height, I think. Yes. Mm. So if well, that's why I tell people about why instead of concentrating on my the BMI, numbers. am I obese or this or that, your ideal weight. Why can't you work on what you work on yourself when you feel it? It's about how you feel. Mm. But but um, Reverend Dummy's question now losing the the Big tummy. Tummy. because what I noticed, like you rightly said, and honestly. Two weeks ago, we couldn't climb the staircase because all our yeah. thighs were so painful. But now I can do a lot of things. I'm, you know, I'm very, very agile now and I'm awake. Yeah, fit. You know, I am fit now. So it's just about, you know, maintaining it. I think over time, yeah. the weight will now follow, you know. But if he wants to lose his stomach fat now, for instance, as a man, okay. there are so okay. many things, right? What and I have advise? to say... Because my partner has... Yeah, like, you know, people store fat in different areas. Yeah. Some store in their lower body. The visceral fat is the fat that you store around your midsection. It mm -hmm. increases your chances of obesity, stroke, heart Fats. attack. Mm -hmm. It is very bad mm -hmm. when you store a lot of fat. And a lot of people have a lot of fat around their mm -hmm. midsection. But how do you do it? You have to make a conscious effort. Diet plays like 80%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to get what you eat because right. sometimes people don't tell you the truth about what they are eating. You stop somebody, you say, what do you eat? They tell you they eat watermelon and salad. Mm. And you know very well. Yeah, you know, so this so many people are, they eat, they are closet eaters. They eat and then they I hide the evidence. To to this, question. <laughs> this is a very serious question and they shouldn't sh shout at me. You see the problem with all this dieting. Because I can't lie to you. Ah. At least once a day, I must eat rice or something yeah. yam. I must. Why? Because it is. I'm only in this life once. And if I should die, 
<laughs> my spirits cannot go <laughs> and peace. Nobody. We still stay around this and I'll be looking, looking at jollof rice. <laughs> ah, <laughs> this, this thing. Now, when we started, so I said problem, it's not. How will I solve that? We, we are not here to talk out. Like, Say we don't do fat diet. I eat rice. Mm. I eat eba. Mm. Nobody says you should not eat because you're. Just like you, you said, need to right. it. you need to. If not, you you, you become be lethargic, lethargic, too. and you know. So you're supposed to. When it comes to food now, your jollof rice, you can work with passion. Ah. You because work there with was the a passion. time I was dieting, then one car hit me. I almost died. I said, "You see now." And you can't even <laughs> that exercise. That is how my spirit should have left this head, and I I will not be able to live. Okay, all right. So I know. now uh, let, let's. Now, there, there, there's a pause. Somebody was saying that, Mariah, you can't do this alone. This is your dieting or eating properly mm -hmm. and exercising is not sufficient to reach your goal by December. They will now suggest that I use supplements, I use um, diet um, system, some kind of system to help me have that crash. Okay. What do you think about that? Why I, I am, they, everybody, they know me very well that I preach against supplements. Supplements when it comes to all those pills. Mm. If it's your multivites that you take every day, those are okay. But supplements for weight loss, because see, there are so many supplements that all they do is they increase your metabolism. They rave up your heart rate. And if you're not careful, when you ex take those things, you exercise, your heart rate is already up, and then you shock your heart. What happens? Hell. You get a heart attack. Because they don't tell you exactly what is in those, mm. you can't even explain mm. it. That's why I say go natural. Let me take this call from Grace. Grace, are you there? Oh, I'm so oh, sorry, sorry to be you. Oh, goodness me. All right. But, so, so Mariah, yeah, we shouldn't use any of those things. Mariah, we already discussed about this here. Yeah? We're not just losing weight because we want to lose weight. You know that you're a little bit overweight and you want to maintain a healthy weight for the rest of your life. So there's no use crashing. And then when you crash from size from 18 to 14 in two weeks, there are some things you must have missed out on. For instance, carbohydrates. The day you will finally eat the carbohydrate, you will binge on it and gain yeah, more weight. Yeah, well, see, they have some success stories with that, though. Some people have done that crash, and they've lost, and they, and they And you done. follow up. It's like what, what she said. What happens down the you line? See, sometimes the you can do a crash diet for two, three days, five days. Then you climb the scale. You see you've lost five kg. Most of them are, is water weight. Hmm. And by the time you go back to eating those things again, you, you gain them back. Wow. You can wow. even gain more, wow. more than. Ugochi, are you there? Ogochuku, sorry. Yes, Ogochuku. Good morning, please go ahead. I want to know what I'll eat so that I'll keep my, my weight back. Ah, you want to gain weight? That one, I can easily tell you that one. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> that one is easy. When you wake up in the morning, eat e rice. Eba. No, but, yeah. but I heard something. What you said about waking then up in the morning. Then at night, eat eba. A friend of mine told me that um, the best way to eat your carbs, even if you want to eat your rice, and in portion, that you eat it before 12 because the the carbohydrate takes a longer time to digest so most times when you eat a by in the morning you don't have a by again in the afternoon or, or you have rice for dinner so it piles up so the body is not able to break it down you know properly so she was saying that the best way to actually eat your rice is actually before 12 noon mm -hmm. well, well, mama Gali said, said 3 p.m can i say something yeah. so, if your calorie allowance is 1800 mm -hmm. and there by 1000 mm. mm. If you eat the one, if you overshoot one eight, whether you ate it at twelve or, in or the you morning. ate it in the morning or you ate it at twelve midnight, you have already gone past your allowance. But when it comes to how you feel, because there are certain foods that you eat in the morning, you feel bloated, mm. you feel sluggish. Mm. So it's about your metabolism, not really about the timing. Yeah, the, the timing. So and you're supposed to cut your carbs. Oh. Because you know they are all all very high in, mm. in calories. Let's say some a, a, a healthy portion of rice, for instance, a, a full plate of rice. Because me, I like a full plate of rice. How many carbs is that? Why can't stop deceiving? Why can't your full plate of rice is one tiny a, rice on the plate? See one something small Bring rice. Me. We see you where you're eating. I beg, stop deceiving or us. I have a rice. problem with Benway State. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Ogaba, are you there? I see my mouth open. <laughs> yes, uh, Morel. Good morning. How are you? Morning, uh, regards to everyone in the studio. Hey, good, morning. good morning. Good morning. Uh, but I want to observe uh, one thing. I, 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 I want to tell all of you that overfeeding is your problem. 
So, put that into consideration. And uh, uh, because it's showing in all of your attitudes. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God, are you with us in our houses? <laughs> I am there. Uh, why can't I am with you? I am, I, I am. I am always with all of you because this is the spirit. To you have the spirit of Niger, and it is flowing from there to all of us, all over the country. So keep it up, and God bless all of you. Thank but, you. but there are some people, honestly. Let's take some tweets. Okay, I wanted to say. Let's take some tweets. Mary Honor, she was one who called from mm. Serbia. Um, says. When I was on a strict diet, eating small portions five times a day with two in between meals, I ate less rice, no bread, no pasta. Uh, Multitol Lopez says, I think I'm seeing some physical changes in Morayo, road to size 10. Nigeria IT job says, um, laugh out loud at my spirit to be looking at jollof rice. rice. <laughs> Weight loss is hard work, but it pays later when women envy you. Mm. I wanted to say, okay, um, for some, because I know that weight gain is something that is very, very depressing. Before you, before you mm. go, let me take okay. Smack. Okay. Smack, are you there from Bariga? Yeah, I'm there. Good morning, please go ahead. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, first time caller. Yay. Yeah, I want to ask a question to the lady in between. Yes. Yeah, it's uh, just about uh, my wife. Uh, she always have a serious headache. So I don't know what's the problem. Headache. Headache. Hmm. Does she eat well? Is she a doctor? Uh, first of all, before you have to check with your doctor, doctor, doctor to yeah. make sure that the, the co to ascertain mm. the cause of the headache mm. before we talk about exercise and diet. Mm. I think. Okay. Well, I don't want you to go back to our own program because that's one of one of the reasons we wanted you to come on the show today. In the last two weeks, what have you observed between myself and Uwa? And um, I think Sansi too joined us. And because we want to let people know that this is for real. It's not as if we're just faking it or we're acting as if we did. Like, you can bear witness that we come to the gym. How often do we come? And how, what, have, what have you seen? Uh, what have you observed? And what have we been working out since? OK. First of all, remember when you started? The mm. first day we went for a jog, you ran away. <laughs> So, oh my gosh, you didn't say that. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it's not as easy as it looks. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the other Saturday, we went for a six kilometer yeah. jog. Mm, yeah. We came back, we did one hour class, okay. and we did some strength training. Yeah. So, it, you, can, you can bear witness that it's not as easy. Yeah. You know, sometimes people look at those in a gym like a bunch of people who mm. don't have work. Mm. Your health is very important. And it help, if, if anybody tells me what to do to live forever, mm. I will do it. Mm. And thank God that... You'll be the only one on the to All your family will leave you to live forever. <laughs> 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 Let me take Jane's call. Jane from Ibutimeta, are you there, Jane? Yeah, good morning. Morning, please go ahead. Please, Auntie Jane, I am 17 years old mm. and I weigh 70. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if I am a bit overweight and I have this big stomach. I want to shed... I want to share this. Okay. Please, how, how that's a valid question. How okay. tall is she first? How tall are you? Oh, she's, she's Jane, gone. are you there? She's gone. Okay, she's Because you can't tell her she's overweight until you know her height. Mm -hmm. I mean, but we have to call and say that maybe she is overweight. If she's 6'11", mm -hmm. she may not be overweight. Uh, well, uh, well she mentioned sure that she, her stomach is, is big. Yeah. big. And when your stomach is big, a lot of women think that it's by doing 100 sit-ups. Some, mm. some people tell you I do 500 sit-ups every day. That's, me. That's not even the first thing you do. Increase your cardiovascular exercises, just activity, do something that will make your heart pump, mm. rev up your heart rate. Keep doing, mm. be more active and you will see that if you start taking walks, you go on a walk or mm. you notice that your stomach is the first place mm. that will start slimming down. And try and cut okay, food. That, that was 17, that when I was 17, yeah. I, I do, um, when I have the time, I do about 2,000 evolutions a day. That's apart from dancing. And then I do my sit-ups. And I notice that yeah. I actually drop. So she can start yeah. with skipping. But then I the still eat big food. I and I like know to, one thing about teenagers. I will answer How it. many calories? Let, let, me, let me answer her. Because I, I know teenagers. I have a teenager. Mm. My son is 15 years. 
And you know, sometimes because they are teenagers, they feel they can eat anything, yeah. especially empty calories that come from soda. Hmm. All kinds of drink, they can drink Ribena, Capri Sun, just name how many. So if you can just cut down your sugary intake, yeah. hmm. just cut down on sugar, hmm. biscuits, even if you don't do anything, just try and cut down on sugar. Okay, you will let's see take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. We stay with Jane. We're still here with Jane. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, everyone. My name is Jane Amuta. I'm the CEO of Fit Gym Salons and Spa. I'll be coaching the ladies on their road to a size 10. And for that to happen, you have to stay focused and no pain, no gain. Be determined, be consistent, and remember that it's about fun. So have fun. Come on, ladies, are you ready? Yay! Welcome back. We're still on our road to size 10. And Jane has weighed us. My own weight was 97 kg. Now I'm 95.5. And my desired weight is 75 kg by December. By December, right? Mm -hmm. And you are, what again? 86. And she hasn't moved from that spot. Moved. Goodness, you're going to be quiet for a second, man. <laughs> ah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have uh, okay, can I tweets. tweets. Yes, okay. I'll let you talk. Let me see okay. this one. And now, you, can, you, you can't lose weight in two months, and you want Buhari to fix Nigeria in three months, especially <laughs> at Uluwa, New York. <laughs> oh my Trust me, it says, Ah, uh, Morayo, gain more weight. Eh? Road to size 10, indeed. Um, Bami Dele Kingsley says, Mariah looks fitted today in her outfit. You have shown that you can be big and yet beautiful and fabulous. Nigeria, be proud of yourself, okay. ladies. Thank Nigeria you, Job says, Aunt Mar Mariah, this road to size 10 is working exceedingly well. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, the key is keeping at it. Can Samuel say Steven says, I think I'm be beginning to see changes in Mariah and the energy in Uwa along with Shapey style in Jumoke. This road to size 10 is the real thing. Okay, Jumoke, let's, let's I, I, can I just, Uwa, Uwa needs a few I want to say something. I just need to read this one. Okay. Okay. I wish to get, I get a wife like Mo Akebash as a wife. So natural, childish, simple and straightforward. Love her. Ah. Aww. Aww. How sweet. <laughs> well, I so, hello, I'm already taken. I got three kids. <laughs> um, I wanted to ask because I know a lot of people are, are, are going through weight issues, you know, and, you know, they're depressed. Yes. Sir. And, you know, when you're depressed, you, you tend to, for me, when I'm depressed, I tend to eat more instead of, you know, unlike some people that stab themselves. Me, I'm, if I'm depressed, I eat more. And when people hear that you want to lose weight, you want to look good, they just feel that, ah, oh, you're okay, there's nothing wrong with mm. it. And sometimes, you know, how do you um, get yourself psychologically ready, ready. you yeah. know, to actually, you know, go on that mission and, you know, without giving up? Yes, thank you so mm. much. That's a fantastic question, Noah. First of all, you have to understand, like, ask yourself, why am I on this journey? Yeah. Is it, there are so many reasons why you, you like, unless you you have a conviction that the either you want to look better in your dresses or you want to be have more energy there's so many things mm. but you have to also you know that it's not easy then when you step out you tell yourself okay fine i want to do this what do i want to achieve mm. then you must have know why you are on it if you don't know why you're on it then you can't last long now, one of the reasons, one of the things that got me to this point was my husband's the kind of person that is always exercising. Every morning, 5 a.m., he's always saying, Mariah, let's go. And I'm like, I can't because I'm feeding and breastfeeding two babies. I can't. So he's always encouraging me. And his sister also is fit. In fact, interestingly, she also had a baby. And at last year, within a year, she was also size 22. And within a year, she dropped to size 10. So I saw her myself. She came, she came earlier this year. And I'm like, oh, my goodness. What happened to you? He said, Mariah, I was exercising morning and night. And I changed my diet. So I realized, you know what, Mariah, I need to get up on my feet because my husband is fit. His sister too has done it. So what excuse do I have? So I'm like, you know what, I have to push myself to that point. And I decided within myself, okay, I have never been a size 10 before, but I'm going to make it a size 10 because there's nothing impossible. There's mm -hmm. nothing you, you can do. If you, if you believe it, you can do it. And that's why I say, you know what, a lot of women are out there. They're depressed. Yeah. They're, real, they're not even as big as I am. Right? They're, they're even bigger than I am right now. They're like in the size 22 and above. And they just feel like the world has ended. But you see, it starts from you making that decision that I want to lose weight. Forget the husband factor. Forget the, the naysayers. You decide for yourself, 
I want to get to this side. Because it's not the place I stay. Me. I want to look good for me. That, that, that is what happens. That's what happened to me because I went up to 73 kilos and I was just like a short, fat, round person. <laughs> and I was like, man. So one day I just woke up like this. This was after celebration last year. And I said, no way. And then I started. And it was... I, but I have to tell you the truth, I was still eating one, yeah, at least one price. big meal. I have to tell you the truth. Yeah. 73 yeah. to 69, that's I, just 4 kg. <laughs> <laughs> I went to okay. You need grace. Why, why are you no. negative all the time? Hey, don't mind. See, I, went, I went down to 67. Don't yeah. mind her. She's coming now. You but get to this point. The reason where after you don't bond, you will now was see. Was people now start saying, ah, you look too thin, you look too thin. So I, I now started feeling a bit too thin. So I just said, okay. So I've maintained 69. Yeah. I, I I fluctuate mm. between 69. Let me take this call from Ebenezer. Ebenezer, are you there? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Please go ahead. I want to get talk more on this. Like me, I I I reduce drastically by by eating food. I yeah. I diet on food for four days, just only food. So and it worked for me. Mm. So I, it worked for but you. Some people don't it's quite believe, expensive. Believe, so I don't know how to eat. He, he ate fruit for four days. Fruits have natural sugars. Now, the thing about fruits is that they have natural sugars. So all the sugars that you need, you already have in your diet if you're eating just fruits and vegetables. For instance, vegetables also have carbohydrates. So if you're eating extra carbohydrates, you just need a little. But what I keep saying is it's a lifetime lifestyle change. Okay, it doesn't happen overnight. Pearl says, what would you suggest for those who whose health don't permit them to exercise, like people that have health issues, how do they now maintain their weight and look good? Um, it, it's if you have health issues that you can't exercise, mm. depending on the definition of exercise, yeah. you know, there are so many things you can do. But if you have health issues, then if diet is like 80%, then if you get your diet right, That's I all. think you can maintain well, the that, health. That kind of a person can still walk. You don't have to... You don't no, have to jump. I don't know. That's what I said. Yeah, I don't depends. know what yeah. exercise. But I read like, somewhere else that even your brain being active mm. burns calories. So if you do all these kind of books. games, Sudoku, read, 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 read books. books, things that get you to reason, you actually burn calories by doing that. So there are I different ways of... Also burn calories from sleeping. True. Yeah, really. Which yeah. is why you need 1,500 calories from food on the regular because you need the calories for all the things you do, sleeping, walking, talking. Guess what, Mariah? You don't have to go to the gym and do um, well, lifting yeah, right. or just walking is exercise. If you walk every day mm. and you eat, you know, in small portions, you'll be okay. Do you remember Kate? Yes. If you see Kate now, so she has gone yeah. down. Do you know what she's doing? She's doing water diet. Just what does that mean? Water. She's just drinking. She's eating in small portions during the day, but Drink from you. morning till like afternoon, she's just water, water, water. That water thing doesn't work for me because I I'm always going to the toilet. That's I also tell our viewers that you have to make it realistic. Mm -hmm. How long are you going to drink water for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever <laughs> you're doing, that's what I say. Whatever you're doing, make sure that it's something you that you can do over a long term. Mm -hmm. Because it's not about I can decide that I will drink water for one week and I'll lose weight. Mm. Mm. But what happens after. after, how long am I going to drink water for? Me, so try and have you ever been big before? Of course. How big have you been? I've been, uh, oh, when I was pregnant, my no, don't talk about pregnancy. Okay, time. no, I'm after, not talking about, after, 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 after I've given birth, you know, when I was pregnant, that's what I said. I was a, I was a UK 10 before I had my last uh, child. child. Okay. Then you know how you gain weight. You mm. tell yourself, I'm getting it's because I'm pregnant. Mm. Then I started increasing. I went to 12, 14, 16, 18. 18. Yes. And when I had the baby, I lost, you know, I went to, I, I was 96 kg. Hey, Jehovah. Then I lost. Yeah? The You're 96 kg. Please rewind. Yeah. Pause, pause. Then pause. after. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> you were 96 kg. Yes, I was. Oh my God, I have hope. And yeah. my mom came. So of course, my mom came to take care of the child. I wasn't doing anything. And I wasn't helping myself. Fantastic. Because I was just eating. I drink f uh, fruit juices like water. Mm. Because they tell you you need the breast, oh, breast milk. Yeah. Okay. So even though you know, the, like sometimes you tell yourself the truth, you're, not, you're doing a little bit too much. Mm. And so when 
I told myself, no way. I have to go back to what I love doing, which is exercising, because mm. I've been doing that even when I was in the university. Mm. So I went back. You don't, you didn't get it in one day. Mm. So and you, you know, the body mm. goes through a lot of trauma. I had a cesarean section. So many people tell you that when you have a cesarean section, your stomach can, can never, never go back. Yeah. Who says? But you have to put in a little bit of work. How long did it take you? It doesn't matter how long it took me because are you sure I was doing it? Like, you know, it's, it's also you're not perfect. So sometimes you're in, you're yeah. out. Okay. There are so many. So it depends on. Fantastic. Yeah. That gives me hope. And because unfortunately, we have to lose. We have to close I must say thank you. But that's fantastic. Because gym. when we see her in the gym, I, I am encouraged. Yeah. Because when I see you walking out, that's okay. If she can do it, yeah. I can do because it. Because honestly, we are just there to support each I other. I need a siren also. And people say, your tummy can never go down. Yeah. So I'm really, I'm right behind you. And I'm going to get to that size. I'm going to wear a size 10. I, I I've started shopping size 10 too. already. My, my tummy went down, actually. Mm. Within three months, I lost weight. But I was dancing. That's why I tell them is your problem is not the cesarean set. Yeah. Your problem is that you have refused to do something. Mm. It doesn't matter how much. Just try. Do something. something. All right, that's all we what, can take. Thank you so much, Jim. Now? Right now, I'm a, per I'm a perfect 18. So I have hope. <laughs> but right behind you, Mariah. Um, who are you to be 18, Abby? Yes. Yeah. Or 22, rather. Oh. <laughs> so you have hope. You know, when yeah. don't get frustrated there with dress size. There is no. All right, yeah. we have to go. Thank you so much, Jane. <laughs> and you. those of you joining us, we'll keep you posted on what we're doing, our diet. Um, this weekend, we're still going to be working out. Make sure you join your own gym. Make sure you eat healthy. Small, small portion, as Jane has said. And you know, don't don't be too hard on yourself. All right. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you. Don't be too hard on yourself. <laughs>